Hey, this this goes out to the the tough guys of our generation of the generation. You know, that's cool and all. Um, you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm glad you're tough. That's great because especially in these trying times, you go and need all that toughness. But I just want to say one thing: Where does tough get you in life? Because remember, you have to walk around with that shit. You got to walk around being a tough guy. I don't have a problem being the nerdy homie. I don't have a problem being the square homie. I don't have a problem being the homie that's always with his children and things of that. To me, that's the tough shit. You know what tough is, bro? Tough is teaching your children the difference in theirs. T-H-E-Y-R-E, T-H-E-R-E, T-H-E-I-R. The difference in two, T-O, T-O-O, T-W-O. The difference in C, S-E-E, S-E-A. That's tough. Tough is teaching your six-year-old how to play chess when they steadily want to play checkers. That's tough. All that running around in the streets, trying to be him, that's cool and all. It looks fun. But like I said, you got to walk around with that shit. It's always going to be somebody harder than you. It's always going to be somebody that can fight better than you. It's always going to be somebody willing to die more than you willing to die for the same bullshit. I'm not willing to die over no bullshit. I'm not about to kill nobody over no bullshit. That's why I take life so serious. why I take certain things so seriously. You know, I used to have a real short list of shit that could get you slapped. I mean, I'm sorry. A very long list of short of shit that could get you slapped. Very long list. Like, minor infractions will get you fucked up. You know, as I got older, that list got shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And my patience and my tolerance got got um, got um bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm more patient. I'm more tolerant. Because I'm not about to throw my life away. I have children to look after. Maybe that's what separates us. You know, a lot of, a lot of the people I see, you know what I mean, playing these tough guy roles. Because they really haven't stepped into manhood. People think being a man is about fucking as many bitches as you can, um, being as much, being as, um, being as tough as you can. That's not, that's not, that's not man shit. Man is, men, manhood is taking care of your responsibilities. Manhood is taking care of your children. Manhood is taking care of yourself, not letting other people take care of you. That's what manhood is. And I think a lot of people got that misconstrued. I don't know if it's because of the music or because of the movies. People think they have to fit into this certain goddamn box of what they think a man should be, especially black men, especially Latino men, you know, especially men that come from impoverished communities. You think you have to fit into a certain role. You have to fit into a certain box. That's not true. I'm here to tell you that's not true. It's okay to be the nerdy homie. I don't have a problem being a nerdy homie. I don't have a problem with people telling me I'm a nerdy homie, even though people don't. Because there's certain aspects about me that will never change. Disrespect will never change. And niggas know. Don't disrespect me. We can play. You can joke all day. You feel me? But don't disrespect me. Especially if you don't know me like that. Because if you know me like that, you know you ain't going to disrespect me to my face. So with that being said, I just want to put this shout out. I mean, put this energy out into the world. It's okay not to be the tough guy. Right? It's okay. It's okay to be with your children and be vulnerable. It's okay. It's okay not to have 100 niggas around you. 99 of them will tell on you if some shit will happen. That's okay. I'm by myself majority of the time, and I feel safe and comfortable in my own skin. You know why? Because I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm going to die by myself. I'm going to live by myself. It's okay to come together. I tell people all the time, we can come together. If it's about some bread, if it's about some something, something uh, beneficial. But other than that, bro, I'd rather be to myself. I don't trust niggas. That's the truth. Niggas will turn on you. Niggas will switch on you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will take, uh, niggas will give them an inch. They'll take a mile. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love and blessings from a distance. But that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get that quick message out there because I see a lot of toxic, what they might call toxic masculinity going on. And I just want to let everybody know it's cool to be it's cool to be comfortable in your own skin. I'm cool. I'm comfortable. I get on camera grimy and all. I don't give a fuck.
because I'm who am I trying to impress? It's not you. If anything, I'm trying to impress God. I don't, I don't, I don't care for the opinions of men. And even in the Bible, it says, "Don't cast your pearls to the swine." You know what I mean? But at the same time, I have to speak on it if I see it. I have to, I have to get this, get this out there because listen, <laughs> nobody else is gonna say it. I'm gonna say it because I'm not scared. And I know, and I know for a fact, if somebody disagree with me on this, you're a weird, you're a whole weirdo. Not even you, a whole weirdo. You can't disagree with me on this. Everything I'm spitting is facts.